Welcome back to Five Talk Street. I'm Christy Nelson. Of course, we all know 911 as the emergency phone number in this country that helps emergency responders save lives. The North Texas 911 Public Educators is a group that works together to join intellectual efforts to gain efficiencies and improve public education about 911. Here to tell us more about their efforts are Kelly Williams and Betty Wafer. Kelly is the 911 Operations Specialist for the North Central Texas Council of Governments. And Betty is the Dallas Police Department's manager of 911 communications. Thanks to you both for coming and telling us about this. It's so important. Now, first, tell us about the group. Who makes up this group? North Texas 911 Public Educators is comprised of public agencies across the North Texas area. And there's 120 of those that could join up in with us to build messages to help us help our citizens by making a one message, a standard message across the board so that we don't have to reinvent the wheel every time. Mm -hmm. And we join our monies together to help build a huge campaign where we can educate people. Okay, so what's, uh, tell us a little bit about this campaign, either of you. What are your goals? Our current campaign for September is a Know Your Location campaign. Okay. Location is key. We can send fire, EMS, police, but we have to know where you're located. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, we're just helping you over the phone. Yeah. So location is the first thing you need to tell the 911 call taker. And, and Betty, t tell me, when people call, what are some of the problems that you see when it comes to that, the know your location? What are people doing wrong? A, a lot of times, especially in apartment complexes, there are building numbers, there are door numbers. Uh, and a lot of times, if you just recently moved to a location, you don't know that. Sometimes it's, it's helpful to have Landline, uh, landmarks, and especially the name of their apartment complex because with the city of Dallas, Tarrant County as well as Fort Worth, there's apartments and condos all over the city. Like Kelly just said, know your location because even if you hang up, we can still get police, fire, ambulance, or all out to that location to get assistance for you. Our main, our main campaign goal is help us help you. Really? Okay, so Betty, let's start with when it's appropriate to call 911. Call 911 if there's life or property in immediate danger. Immediate. Someone has been robbed. Someone is breaking into your house. You're out at the stoplight. Someone carjacks you. Someone has been cut, stabbed. Someone is choking. Someone is having a heart attack. In all those cases, please call 911. And we'll transfer you either to the fire department for an ambulance our police uh, uh, come out to that location, but immediate danger to your life or property. But I think that there are so many people who don't know any other way to reach police. And even if you're not in immediate danger to your life, you know, what, what are you supposed to do? You can still call 911. Uh, you call 911 because we do refer you. If, if, if it's uh, property, that might have been lost. You mm -hmm. can still call 911. There are non-emergency numbers. Okay. And, and a lot of people um, sometimes get misconstrued, well maybe I shouldn't call, because some people might think that, might think that uh, a break-in of a house is not an emergency, mm -hmm. but it is. It is. How do we know someone is still not in the house when you call 911? Okay. So, Never, never in doubt, call. Just call. All right. Mm -hmm. So, Kelly, what is the 911 call taker going to ask me? First thing, like we talked about, is location. Okay. Location. And then they're going to ask a series of other questions depending on what your need is. If they identify it's a uh, law enforcement matter, mm -hmm. if, say, our burglary, if you have suspect, suspect information, they're going to ask you for that. You know, male, female, white, black, Hispanic, clothing color, those are all key things, or tattoos. If they're leaving in a vehicle, direction of travel, if you get any of the license plate, those are key things. Medical, they're going to have a whole set of different questions that okay. they'll ask in a certain order. Well, thank you so much for getting the word out and trying to help people. I know that this can help reduce a lot of frustrations when people call. So thank you so much for being here. To get more information and tips about the 911 Public Education Program, visit nt911pe.org. And don't go away, we'll be back with more of Five Talk Street.